Hello everyone, so today I thought I would film a new video. I say this every single time and it annoys me so much because of course I'm filming a new video. Like, <laughs> So today I thought I would do a little kind of uni life update video because I have not done a uni video in a very long time now. But that is mainly because I actually finished on the 18th of December and well the 17th of December and I don't start until the 19th of January so I've still got a little while before I start back again but yeah so I thought I would do a little overview of the first term at uni basically and kind of talk about my experience and things like that because obviously you guys saw like the whole experience of me joining uni and things like that with the current situation of the world <laughs> so yeah i thought i would give you all a little bit of an update but also just a general like overview of how i find doing a foundation year and things like that so the first thing is kind of talking you guys through how things are working at the moment with covid going on so obviously we don't know what's going to happen next year um so people who are applying this year to go later on in the year we don't know what's going to happen but yeah i thought i would kind of tell you guys what's been happening so far so as for classes we did have some in-person classes and some the rest online um at the start of the term but we only had that from so i started on like october the 8th i think it was and then we ended up being fully online by the second lockdown which was november the 5th which was so sad and it is so hard to stay motivated when you are doing it all online, I'm not going to lie. So many technical issues and I'm also not going to lie here either. I, especially near the end of term, I was literally like one of the only people left on the Zoom call. Like people literally zone out so much, they don't turn up as much. Um, they, like you start to not have your camera on come the end um, just because you can't be bothered. <laughs> to be honest. So a lot of people would have their cameras off and literally just disappear and actually not be there for any discussions and things like that. As for learning online, it is so difficult. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. I really do miss kind of going in and actually seeing people. I have to say though, you do still make friends online with the people in your course because obviously you're literally video calling them, you know what I mean, and discussing things with them still. So even though, yeah, I did meet most of them or like my closest friends on my course, in person um, before we went online. I still have spoken to so many people on the Zoom calls that I still made friends and I think that's the thing like I also have a lot of online friends anyway through YouTube um, and they're actually my best friends and we originally met online. <laughs> I think you can still make friends whilst you're online um, and obviously things are still open on campus I'm not gonna lie guys so at the moment obviously we're in the third lockdown it's incredibly strict um, they are advising us not to go back to accommodation and things like that and they're pausing accommodation so you don't have to pay for it and things like that they're advising us to stay away from campus basically but there are still a couple of things open actually the only thing I can think of off the top of my head is the library but you have to book slots to go into the library which I have personally never actually been in that library and I want to so badly but you know when you've like missed that whole thing of going in there for the first time at the beginning of the time I feel like I've been there for so long now that I should know what it looks like you know what I mean or I should have been in there but I haven't so <laughs> yeah I would book myself a slot in there and just go sit in there one day but I'm one of them people where like I hate going places for the first time and not knowing where I'm going so normally like finding classes and things like that I find somebody on my course and I'm like can you meet me here please and we'll go together and that is how I feel about the library I'm I'm not going unless somebody will come with me that is still open but you have to book slots like I said so it does make things a little bit more difficult and obviously as I said I don't know where I'm going I don't have a clue where these places are that they're making you sit you know what I mean so yeah it's a bit complicated as for the classes like i said it's all online which is pretty rubbish it's definitely not worth the money at the moment i'm not gonna lie we definitely should get a discount because we do a lot of pre-recorded lectures so they're videos that the lecturer has already filmed just over the top of a powerpoint and then they literally just share the link with you and then you just watch the video and yeah basically also didn't mention i go to the university of essex which is literally just down the road from me anyway i live 10 minutes from campus i'm doing film studies with a foundation year 
so I actually don't start film studies until October which is kind of good with what's going on at the moment because hopefully things will be back to normal in October so when I go into my proper first year hopefully there'll be some kind of normality. <laughs> That's it for classes. As for accommodation, now I've had so many DMs about accommodation, like so many. So as for accommodation, I personally, I obviously, as you guys saw, I moved in on the 1st of October. I decided I was going to live on campus because it's close to home, but I was still going to be living away. I'd still get the chance to meet flatmates and stuff like that. It was amazing. We all got on so well. Um, there was quite a lot of us. But yeah, you were advised at the beginning for the first two weeks to wear masks when you came out of your room. But obviously nobody does that, come on. <laughs> but it was really easy to make friends there. I feel like that's one of the easiest things. But with everything that happened again, they kind of forced us all to kind of go home. So as I said, we were allowed to pause our accommodation contract, which is what I originally did. And I was like thinking that I was going to go back kind of January, so like now. But obviously with what's happening at the moment, I've just basically took it upon myself to just cancel my accommodation contract. As I said, we are allowed to do that at my uni. I know it differs with different unis, but I just thought, what's the point in wasting money when I'm not even gonna be like there, if you get what I mean, or I'm not gonna be getting the same experience. Like the whole, I literally only live 10 minutes away, like I said, the whole reason why I wanted to live on campus was to get that independence, but also the fact there's like, there's like a nightclub at the literal uni, like there's a nightclub right there and bars and everything so I was like okay well like that'll be fun because I can go for like nights out with people and stuff like that and just have to walk back to my accommodation and it would be great and same with going to classes as well I just walk to my classes you know what I mean I did think that it was going to be a lot better than it was um but obviously it didn't work out like that so I have cancelled my accommodation contract now and I'm going to stay at home for the rest of the year I don't know what I'm going to do about next year yet I think I'm probably just going to stay at home just because it is a lot of money that I'd be wasting on just living 10 minutes down the road, you know what I mean? When I could save up that money to actually buy a place in the future. As for social life situations, our uni did genuinely work really, really hard to find things to do. Like, they did a thing which was called, like, a buddy walk. So you could literally, like, sign up to this thing and they'd, like, set you up with a buddy. <laughs> And like you would go on a walk around campus with these, this random person basically. So it was a way to like make friends, which I think was really cute. What else did they do? They did quite a bit like with the SU bars. So they made like a little outdoor area where you could go and have drinks and stuff like that. But obviously at this current moment where we're in like a full lockdown, we're not allowed, we're not like they're not doing anything like that. That was kind of nice to begin with but I never actually went to one of them because they literally got sold out in honesty minutes. Like they fully sold out in minutes. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely been really really hard to make friends this year and there hasn't really been any events but they did definitely try their hardest to make events. Like we had a full on freshers like two weeks but it was all sat outside, like an outside bar thing and as I said it did sell out like instantly. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe with that. So that was kind of the overview of everything around COVID and how it has been. So as for normality, I'm doing a foundation year at the moment, like I said. So I actually do English RADS, which is research and academic development skills, um, history and philosophy. I absolutely hate philosophy. But anyway, here are the four subjects that I do. So in case you don't know what a foundation year is, it's kind of like a year prior to actually starting uni so you do I mean sometimes you get subjects which are to do with the subject you're going into for example I'm in with people who are doing English philosophy history stuff like that and there's random people like me who's doing film studies and we're like why are we here why are we doing this <laughs> so it's kind of a year where you can either see if university is for you it's a year which can get you into uni if you didn't get the right grades or if you went to a different type of college that didn't do a levels also a year for people who have took a lot of time off of education so it can get you back into doing the education again basically i'm currently doing it because firstly i took a year off and secondly 
The grades to get into Essex Uni was quite high at the time when I applied. They have lowered it a lot now and they're just kind of accepting anyone now which makes me really sad because I wouldn't have really had to do the foundation year but at the time I think it was like AAB to get onto the course that I wanted to get onto. And I had to do a foundation year because I did not get AAB. So yeah but I'm completely fine with it. I love English and history. They are like my subjects anyway. I just I love kind of essay writing. I'm a bit of a nerd for things like that so yeah I just absolutely hate philosophy like I really can't stand it but it is literally the exact same as uni you still have assignments you still have things to read you still have it's literally the same as uni and basically the only difference is that you're doing multiple subjects but in your normal uni course you would be like so my subject is film studies but I would have multiple modules anyway so it's kind of like the same thing but I'm doing completely different subjects at the moment rather than things to do with one subject if that makes any sense whatsoever. As for the foundation year, like I think if you have to do a foundation year, do not worry about it at all because I feel like I was quite stressed at the beginning because I was like, oh I kind of, I just want to go and do what I want to do, you know what I mean? I don't want to do a foundation year, especially after I had been through hell with my A-levels. <laughs> so yeah, and then obviously hell with Brighton Uni. <laughs> so yeah, taking a foundation year I was a bit like, oh, because it's also an extra year that you have to do of uni so I'd be another year behind. But I actually can't recommend it enough. I'm I'm really happy with it at the moment to be honest with you. I got my first assignment back the other day and I got a first in it, which is the highest you can get, which I'm so happy with. And yeah, it's just all going really, really well. The lecturers are so nice and I just my personal advice to you if you have to do a foundation year is just do not worry about it like the year goes by so quickly and just think of it as like it's another year of uni you know like uni is actually really fun and like meeting people and freshers and I know I missed out on that basically but it's just another year of uni like if I had gone straight into the, my normal course this year then I would have technically wasted a year of uni you know and I'd only have two years left and we don't know how that's going to be. Whereas now, I'm like, okay, I've still got three years left, you know? So that's fine, because COVID will hopefully calm down a bit by then. So it should be okay for me. Anyway, so yeah, I'd go for it if you're debating whether to do a foundation year or not. Go for it. It's great. Yeah, I am so excited to start my film course next year. I'm not going to lie. Well, this year, actually. Oh my God, it's this year now. I've already looked at my first year modules on like the optional ones that you can pick and I've literally already picked the modules that I'm going to do because I'm that excited about it. So overall, to conclude this video, <laughs> uni has definitely been very, very different this year. And I think if I was making this video last year or something like that, things would be very different. I'll probably be like, yes, first term was amazing, freshers was great. I'm like, yeah, it was pretty shit. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Everybody's going through the same thing right now. The only thing that I wish they would do is lower the price we're paying for uni this year. Like, I think it's majorly ridiculous that we're paying the amount that we are, considering we've got no social life, we're not allowed to go into the classes. We're not allowed to use any of the facilities. Like, literally all we're doing is watching YouTube videos practically. So it is a huge waste of money at the moment. <laughs> but I'm optimistic for this year. Hopefully when I go into first year of film, it'll all be good. It'll all be back to normal. So yeah, but that's my little overview of term one. It was good. It was still good. Like I personally, I'm one of them people who I don't like doing actual work, like actually working. So I want to work towards a job that I'm actually going to enjoy, which is why I'm doing film studies, which is why I'm doing uni. Also, I'm one of them brainy well I'm not brainy I'm not brainy at all <laughs> I'm one of them kids that like kids I'm one of them people who I love school like I literally have always loved school college things like that I love doing revision I love making things look pretty so uni I always knew was for me because I don't want to go and work and do an actual job I actually enjoy school <laughs> and doing like writing work so that was how I knew uni was for me so I'm I am happy with how it's going and obviously last year when I had the year off I 
basically did nothing. I worked a bit but I absolutely hated it so I was so ready to start this course and I have really enjoyed it realistically. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was a little bit mismatch, mi mismatched, yeah that's the one. It was a bit kind of muddled a bit because <laughs> I was kind of going off topics and stuff but it was just my little overview of the first term at uni and how I'm finding it all. Yeah I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful for you guys and good luck to any of you who are going to uni later on this year or who are currently applying to unis or getting their, um, what do you, getting their offers. I hope you get the uni you want and yeah hopefully things will be better when we go to uni next, well this year, <laughs> the end of this year. I need to stop talking. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also make sure to check out my social media, which is on the screen now, and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all very, very soon with a new one. Bye!